Lake of the Ozarks High School Football is on Lake TV. All your favorite high school teams battle it out in all 2013 regular season games as Lake TV rebroadcasts every exciting play on television, on our website, and on YouTube. It's brought to you by Smart Postal Center, Quick Car, Save a Lot, Laser Force, Ashley Furniture, Precision Auto, Replay, Pepperoni Bills, JJ Twigs, Aris, and Chris Wagner Farmers Insurance. Lake of the Ozarks High School Football. Relive every game. League TV's coverage about to get underway of game of the week. We've got a good one. My partner Matt Wamser and I here at Victor Field in Eldon, Missouri. The weather is dandy. It's got to be about 67, 68 degrees and it only looks to get cooler tonight. So a pleasant change after two weeks of heat to start the Missouri high school football season and we'll see cooler temperatures and it looks to be rain free. Right, we've got the coin toss going off right now. Captain's meeting here, and this is a nice stadium compared to Alley Field where the Mustangs played for so long. This is beautiful, especially for a 3A school. So who won the toss, partner? Looks like uh, Mustangs are going to start with the ball here in the first half. So the Mustangs win the toss. They choose to receive, and football fans, as much as you're excited about us covering high school football all season, we're just as excited, and we'd like to thank our sponsor, Smart Postal Service, for fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing, and business services at Smart Postal Center at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, or find them on the web at smartpostalcenters.com. Quick Car, for professional car and boat de detailing, visit Quick Car, 3730 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, home of the Unlimited Car Wash Club. Like them on Facebook at Quick Car Lake. All right, so we got sponsors underway. The fans are happy. We're set to kick off in the undefeated Pentos. We're set to kick deep and a couple of playmakers to keep an eye on. First for the Mustangs, you can't talk about Shannon Jolly's club without talking about the very, very exciting and explosive playmaker on offense, Dalton Lister. The senior receiver has got a lot of statewide media coverage. And if you're going to talk about California, you got to talk about their young and impressive wide receiver, the coach's son, Dylan Albert. Says, here's the kickoff taken now across the 20 before being gang tackled there. The Mustangs will start at the 23 yard line. And that's Lister we were talking about on the kick return. So he does a lot, including sets back for kick returns. Got his first opportunity right there to get his hands on the ball. Picked up some good yardage on the kickoff. So the Mustangs will start there at the 23, and I think it's very important for this Mustang team to get the crowd involved early, sustain the drive, and see what you can't get accomplished here in your first drive of the game. So they're going to go out of the I formation, fullback to running back set. Greenwald, the quarterback, and now we've got a flag already. Looks to be... We'll wait for the call. Offsides on California, so the Mustangs will shorten their chain yardage to gain here on their first, before the first play from scrimmage even. So the Mustangs will line up in the exact same formation. Wyatt Greenwald, cornerbacks under center. He's going to give the handoff to number 11. There's some daylight. That's Zach Lehman. He makes another guy miss all the way up to the 39. So on a first and five, he gets 11. And that's enough for a first down. Nice opening blocking there for the Mustangs front guys. Yeah, Lehman had a big hole on the left-hand side and picked up, uh, picked up a first down for the Mustangs. And that was that good start we talked about already up to the 39-yard line. First down and 10 Greenwald now. Out of the huddle to line up. Now they split the backfield. Now you've got Lehman in the backfield. Jumping again is going to be California. This looks to be another offside. Hard count by Greenwald. Working already with his second offside drawn here in the early going. We're not even a minute into this ball game. Yeah, it looks like the Pintos are a little excited, being a little over, overzealous on the defensive line there. Overzealous, a good way to put it. They hop offsides two 
plays, and we're only getting ready to see our second offensive play for Eldon. So Greenwald now under center. They split the backfield. Lehman in the backfield, along with Kwok. And he's going to hand it to Kwok on the split. And he gets about three yards. So that'll bring up a second down and two. Nice inside handoff to Kwok. Yeah, that's two, two runs to the left-hand side so far by uh, the Mustangs. Let's see if they continue that throughout the game here, working the left side. So the crowd here, big, big crowd here, standing room only. There's people still waiting to get in. Second down and two, Greenwald under center. He'll hand off, that's fullback Kwok. He bounces off the first would-be tackler. Second effort all the way up to midfield, and he's got a first down on the carry. So the Mustangs moving the chains effectively here. Their second first down already. Right, three handoffs so far, three running plays. And that voice you hear is PA announcer David Herring. He has been doing this at Eldon as, far, as long as I can remember when I went to school there and much before. Gets the big, big crowd excited here. So first and 10 now, Greenwald under center. He's gonna hand it off, that's Lehman. Nice one-arm tackle right there by Pinto. That's number 31, Scott Porter. He's a senior linebacker. He busted through there and made a one-arm tackle on Lehman for a loss of five yards. Right, the Pintos there finally got some penetration and uh, got a tackle in the backfield for a loss. So second down and 15 upcoming. That will quiet the huge crowd for a minute anyway. Wyatt Greenwald now. He'll line up under center with two in the backfield. That's Lehman. And they're gonna give it to him. He splits through, but nothing doing. Taken down there by the Pinto, Pinto tackler. So third and 15 upcoming after a no gain on second down. This broadcast not possible without our sponsor, Save-A-Lot. Save-A-Lot is your neighborhood grocery store. Fresh foods at refreshing prices. In Camdenton, Lori, and Versailles, you can save a lot while shopping at Save-A-Lot. So Elvin now facing their first third down. It's a long one, third and 15. Greenwald out of the shotgun. He's going to roll to his right, has a nice clean pocket, now being flustered. Across his body and off the hands of Lehman. So fourth down and 15 upcoming, and I think the Mustangs will be forced to punt. Well, that's the first chance to see Greenwald's arm there to, this evening. For 11, Zach is Looks like his receiver just ran a little bit too far to the sideline, was out of bounds. Really nice job by California's defense. They dropped seven into coverage, and obviously a passing situation on third and 15. They're gonna force an Elvin punt here. So nice job by California, holding him to negative five yards on that. Set of possessions. Back to punt is Greenwald. Back to receive for the Pintos. That's number five, Albertson. And a line drive boot bounces once. Albertson picks up there. He gets to the outside and tripped up right there by Eldon Tackler. That's number 40, not 40 on the play, Casper Randolph. Number five, Dylan Albertson with the punt return. Nice tackling right there by the Back Mustangs. By number 48, Christian Hedrick for the Mustangs. And Mustangs did a great job there getting downfield and making the tackle. And Hedrick, the tackler there. So the Pintos will show their offense for the first time tonight. Here first down and 10 at Victor Field. 849 remaining. The Mustangs get a couple of first downs but unable to produce any points. And now we'll see what California offense has to offer here. They take over at the 30 yard line, first and 10. Quarterback Jaden Barr now out of the shotgun. He's going to throw over. And that's Albertson who makes his first tackle, makes a man miss, swung forward and out at the 41 yard line of the 40. This will be very close. They're going to give him a first down. So California comes out throwing and it works on first down, a gain of 10. And that'll keep. The chain's moving now, so nice. First down hookup. Barr finds his favorite target, and that's Albertson. Yeah, Dylan did a great job on that play, showing himself to his quarterback. Quarterback put it right on the numbers, and he fought for some good yardage. Barr now in there. He's going to hand off to his tailback. That's number 33, Seth Fairchild. And 
He's got another big gain. He's got about nine. That'll bring up a second down and one for the Bentos. This broadcast is brought to you by Laser Force. Where's the fun? Every kid knows the fun is at Laser Force Laser Tag on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. The fun starts at Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. So second down and one now. Just shy of midfield on the Pinto, so Barr out of the shotgun. He fakes the handoff, he'll keep it, get outside. He's got the first down and more. All the way to the 40, shakes another tackler and brought him down by Hedrick at the Mustang 34 yard line. So a gain of 17 on second down and one and nice job by Barr to keep it on the option and get 17 yards into Mustang territory. Yeah, Barr did a great job of setting up his blockers on that play. He just followed them down the field and picked up some great yardage. Yeah, very patient was Barr on that keeper. So first down and 10 from the Mustang 34 yard line, the Pintos Moving here on their first offensive possession out of the shotgun again. Here's Barr, he'll throw over. Caught there, nice tackle right there. And that's Eldon playmaker number six, Dalton Lister, who you'll see him covering Albertson all night and vice versa, so nice tackle. Lister holds Albertson to a gain of three, so second down and seven upcoming. That's the second time we've seen them try that quick comeback route. And Completed it both times. This time, Lister knew I'm going to go make a play, and he made a great tackle on a guy that's not so easy to tackle. So here's Barr now on the option. He's going to pitch it out. Nice pursuit to the ball. We've got a flag on the play, and that's number 11. We don't have a number 11 on our roster. The ball carrier gets the first down, but we've got a flag, so... We'll wait for the official's call. Well, we've got a second here. Let's thank uh, Chris Wagner with Farmers Insurance. He's local, he's professional. He's your farmer's insurance agent at the lake. Call Chris Wagner, your local farmer's insurance agent. 573-302-0001. Chris Wagner for Farmers Insurance at Lake of the Ozarks. So it's a hold on California. That'll back it up all the way to the 39 yard line. And the Mustangs catch a break. So second down and 15 instead of a first down inside the 25 yard line for the Pentos. See if the Mustangs can't take advantage of that break. Now second down and 15 from the 39, 630 remaining here in the first quarter. Bar out of the shotgun, he'll throw to his right side. There's Albertson with his third catch. He splits the defenders all the way up to the 18 and that's a gain of 19 or 20 on first down and 15. Yeah, Barr had the opportunity there to sit back in the pocket, found his uh, favorite target there, um, number five, Dylan Albertson, for another big gain and a first down for the Pintos. And that's the third time we've seen that ball completed to the right side to Albertson, and we talked about him in the pregame. He's a playmaker. He was one of the he was All Conference first team last year for the Tri County, and they say he's one of, if not the most dangerous players in this conference. There's that option, number eleven on the outside, and he will score. Hedrick unable to make the tackle, and there's that option keep. So the Pintos from 19 yards out, the option read, given to the playmaker 11, and he'll score. So 6 nothing Pintos here early. The Mustangs unable to contain the Pinto offense on their first possessions. Yeah, and there again, your playmaker, um, number five, Albertson, did a great job of blocking his uh, defensive back on the outside to allow that uh, running back to get in and score the touchdown. So doing all things, and now Albertson will hold the kick on the way through the uprights and that's senior place or sophomore place kicker Aaron Puvez for the Pinto. So seven nothing California. This is Lake TV's coverage of game of the week. We'll be right back after this. At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. JJ Twinks Pizza and Pub It's the lake's favorite family restaurant where past meets present We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30 7 days a week 
We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place. From antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two for one happy hour Monday through Friday from three to six. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carry out or patio dining or enjoy full table service, beer, wine, and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs for family fun, for late night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. And Lake TV's coverage continues here. This game brought to you by Precision Auto. Precision Auto Repair is the real deal on automotive car and truck repair. Next time your vehicle needs service, check out Mike and the boys at Precision Auto. 1024 Industrial Drive in Osage Beach. So here we go now, we're back here. Quovez set to kick away for the Pentos, kicks it deep, and that is over the head off the fingertips of the playmaker number five, who we've been talking about, or number six, Dalton Lister, into the end zone, so the Mustangs will take over at the 20 yard line after the touchback. Pentos had very little trouble moving the ball on their first offensive possession. Yeah, they did a great job mixing it up. They started with a run, <clears throat> started with a little run, a little pass, moved right down the field, got themselves a touchdown. Yeah, they definitely mixed up the play calling. You saw them spread it out through the air and also run the ball, having success with both, so seven nothing here early. Greenwall under center for the Mustangs. And we got a false star here. Somebody started early, I think that was Thomas Kreekhauser. That was Kreekhauser for the Mustangs, a little antsy, so first down and 15. That'll scoot them back to the 15 yard line. A legal procedure against the Mustangs. We've seen that already. Our other sponsor, Replay for multi-console video games. There's a new gamer in town at a new address. Replay in their new location at 4081 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Check him out at the gaming lounge. So here's Greenwald now on the keeper. He gets outside and gains about five before being tackled at the 20. So he'll get the original five. Lost on the fall start, second down and 10 no, upcoming. 540 remaining here in the first quarter. The Pentos strike on their first possession. Mustangs looking to answer. Mustangs have been pretty comfortable keeping the ball on the ground here. Let's see if they uh, can put the ball in the air a little bit here on this drive. Greenwald now, California showing blitz on the rollout. He's gonna throw across his body. He's got Creekhauser who makes the catch and that'll move the sticks and keeps going. A gain of 14 on second down and 10. Nice play there by Coach Jolly. Creekhauser running the little drag route from the tight end position and the ball's right on the money from Greenwald and the Mustangs move the sticks. Creekhauser just made his way across the field and found himself open on the right, right sideline. Great job of fighting for yardage in the first down on that play. So nice job by the Mustangs to get the crowd back into it here, first and 10. And they'll give to Kwok, who will get about two or three on the inside give. Second down and seven upcoming for the Mustangs. After the ball game, Joan hesitated to stop by JJ Twiggs. They've got a new location inside the new Deerbergs. Upstairs at the Lakeview Terrace. New place, great food, and a fantastic view of the Lake of the Ozarks. J.J. Twiggs at Deer Burns in Osage Beach. So second down and seven now for the Mustangs. Here's Greenwald under center. He keeps it and he is gonna be taken down and there's a fumble maybe on the play. California defenders signaling they have it and they do. They recover the fumble. I didn't even see if it was a bad exchange or what it was, but. Nonetheless, California gets a turnover in Eldon territory. They'll take over first and 10 at the Mustang 33 yard line. Yeah, the Mustangs had a little confusion on that play there. The quarterback, Greenwald, just got stuck with the football in his hand. He wasn't sure. The guard, I think, pulled and ran into him. Might have knocked the ball loose there, causing that fumble. And that was one of the big things we had talked about before the game is Eldon cannot afford to turn over the ball against this third ranked team in the state. Let's hope it doesn't prove costly. So. Here's Barnow out of the shotgun. 
He's going to throw to his right. He's looking for Albertson. He's got his man and off the fingertips. Defended there by Lister. So nice job by Lister to make a play and not allow the completion to be made to Albertson. Pinto's taking it right to the Mustangs right after the turnover. Throwing deep for the end zone to his favorite target. And Albertson comes off the field a little shaken off. We'll keep an eye on that and keep you updated on that situation. That's a big time uh, guy to keep an eye on for both teams here. Yeah, I can see him grabbing his ankle. Looks like he might have just jammed it up a little bit on that last play. So that could be a devastating blow to the Pinto's offense. Barno out of the shotgun. He's going to run that option. That's that number 11. He's outside a nice pursuit by Kreekhauser who takes down the ball carrier on the outside. Lister comes in and helps him clean that up. So third down and eight upcoming after a short modest gain of two by the Pintos. Yeah, the Mustangs did a great job of, uh, of stringing out that play. Number 11's really got some speed to him. They uh, made the tackle for a short game. Very quick. Outside is the ball carrier. So third down and eight. Eldon really wants to make a stop. This is a big down. It's early in the ball game but a big play nonetheless. So Barr will line up under center. In motion, they're gonna try the, and fooling nobody. It was a reverse fake handoff left. They come back right, and that number 11 was stuck in his tracks. Mustangs did a great job of staying home on that play, just waiting for the runner to come to him and making a solid tackle. And that'll bring up a fourth down and six. Number 11 has been identified as Walker Bogart for the Pintos, so he's no longer the unidentified player. And look at this, partner. They're gonna line up and look like they're gonna attempt a 46-yard field goal, almost unheard of at the high school level. The snap, the hold, it's up, and oh my, he'd have made that from 50. The 46-yard field goal is good. The Pintos extend their lead. And Aaron Cuevos converts from 46 yarders extending the Pinto lead to 10. This is Lake TV's coverage of Game of the Week. My name is Mike Burbank. Uh, I'm with Quick Car here in Osage Beach. We're located at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway, just a couple of blocks down from Hy-Vee Grocery Store here in Osage Beach. We are Osage Beach's only full service car wash, detail center, oil change, as well as we offer dockside boat cleaning services. With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. We're back here at Victor Field. I'm William Holtz along with my color commentator, Matt Wamser. Lake TV's here and it is 10-0 already. The Pintos off to a quick start, capitalizing on the fumble. And here's Quavo, he's kick, set to kick, a deep end over end kick. And Lister not allowed to take it out of the end zone, high school rules. So Mustangs will take over, first down and 10 from the 20 and we'll hope and Mustangs will hope this drive ends a little better than the last one. Let's give the uh, Mustang defense some credit on that last series. They did a great job after the turnover of holding the, uh, the Pintos to no, they didn't pick up a first down, so they went ahead and attempted the field goal. Yeah, good point there, Matt. After the turnover in the Eldon end, it had been easy for the Mustang defense to fold and give up a touchdown, but they're able to hold the Pinto defense or offense to a field goal and Eldon now wants to try to cut into that 10 point lead here. First down and 10 at the 20. Here's Greenwald under center. He's gonna give it off to Kwok who follows his blockers, weaving in and out and he's got eight yards. So nice first down. Yeah, that was really some great Mustangs. inside running. He just kind of picked his holes and was zigging and zagging up to get about eight yard gain. Lehman, the big ball carrier for the Mustangs, but Kwok getting a handful of carries here early. So second down and two now, Greenwald under center. He's gonna hand it off to Kwok again, and there he goes. He gains seven and a half up to the 35, and that's good for a Mustang first down. Once again for the Mustangs. 
the running back doing a great job there. Looks like uh, one of the Pintos had a hand on his foot there right at, the, right at the line of scrimmage there, but he fought through and picked up some good yardage for a first down at the Mustangs. So they now have it up to the 35. Under center is Greenwald again. Fairly consistent with their offensive set so far. In the backfield, they're going to give it to Lehman. He's going to get outside and taken down by two late Pinto defenders. Tackled there. No gain on the play. So good defense and tackling by the Pintos. The Pintos just kind of strung that play out on defense. Nowhere to go for the running back from the Mustangs. So second down and 10. The Pinto D seems to be zeroed in on Mr. Lehman, and he's yet to get anything going. Greenwalt now under center. Split backfield once again. Here's Greenwald, he'll roll out. He is gonna try to get out of there, but he's gonna be taken down as the Pinto swarmed to the quarterback to sack him for a loss of four. Tough second down play there for Eldon. Yeah, it looks like uh, number 80 there from the Pintos did a great job of blowing that play up, John Jones. Yeah, John Gones actually, he was uh, first team all conference last year for the Pentos, looking to follow that up, and he's a playmaker for this team. Yeah, he got into the backfield, blew up the running back on his block, and then just made the tackle on Greenwald, the quarterback. So a third down and 13 here now for the Mustangs, and we've got a timeout. They'll stop play. We'll figure out a timeout on Eldon, so we're going to give a moment to our sponsors. This is Lake TV's coverage of Game of the Week. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high-quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service and we are your local Connect Point alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. Lake TV returns to a good one, although California off to a quick start. They're up 10 0. And they've got the Mustangs on their heels here as the Mustangs backed up to a third down and 13. Not been good so far for the Mustangs, but things could change here. And they're going to line up out of the I formation on third down and 13. Greenwald under center. He pitches it out. Here's the end around reverse. It's a fake and fooled me. Layman will keep it. He'll get about six yards up to the 37. So fourth down and seven now. The Mustangs will probably be forced to punt. We're approaching the end of the first quarter. Looks like the Mustangs are going to let the clock wind down. So this first quarter brought to you by Eris's Pizza. Eris puts a new spin on an old Italian favorite pizza. Taste how the Greeks make pizza at Eris's Pizza and Pub. They're in the Prewitt Plaza Shopping Center in Osage Beach. So that concludes the first quarter. Lake TV has the other three. After this, we'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza. Pizza so perfect, it could only have the Eris name. Eris's Pizza. We've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. And our coverage continues. William Holtz, along with Matt Wobser here in Eldon, Missouri, where the Mustangs find themselves down 10-0 and face a fourth and seven at their own 38. They look to go for it now. Greenwell out of the shotgun, and he's going to boot it away. Running back, very alertly was a Pinto. Player shakes the guy, gets up to the 38, now to the 41 yard line. So nice job by the Pentos. The shotgun formation fooled nobody. And the Pentos will take back over this game. Brought to you by Home Comfort Furnishings. 
Choosing new furniture is as easy as one, two, three. At Home Comfort Furnishing, next to the Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway, the lake's only authorized Ashley Furniture dealer, Home Comfort Furnishings, one, two, three. So we start the second quarter now, the California Pintos having an outstanding season thus far, and they're up 10-0. Here's the ball carrier now. And we got a flag, and that is in the vicinity of holding, so the eight-yard gain probably coming back. We'll wait for the official call. And it is holding on the Pinto, so that'll back him up here. Pinto's been called for that a couple times already in tonight's game. They lead the Mustangs 10-0. Nonetheless, William Holtz, Lake TV, here with my partner, Matt Wamser, and it's been all Pintos so far. Yeah, it was a pretty... Uh Pretty good first half for the Pintos. They really came out. Their offense looked good on their first drive. Had a fortunate turnover in the Mustang zone to get the other three points. Now they lead it here 10-0 here in the second quarter. So here's Barr now under center. He's going to give it there to running back. A nice tackle there by the Mustangs. Seth Fairchild on the carry. He was unable to get anything going. There's a handful of Mustangs met him in the backfield. Asher in on the tackle, and that scoots him way back to the 33-yard line. And he'll face a third down or a second down at 18 now for the Pintos. Bar now under center on second down. He's going to pitch it out. And that's Bogart. He gets outside, and he's got something going before being stopped there. He gains about nine or ten, and that's going to bring up a third down and eight. Looks like the uh, Pintos are turning to the running game here a little bit in the second quarter. Yeah, it seems like they're trying not to air it out as much. So third down and eight here, 10-30. Mark, and I love to say we're going to look back at this. This is a big point in the game for the Mustangs where they turned it around. So third down and eight. Bar under center. He fakes the handoff, rolls out. He's going to throw. He's got his target. And can, no, in can, no, they call it a completion. He's got the first down. Nice pitch and catch. Yeah, the Pintos had the Mustangs fool on that one. They all went with the handoff to the ball carrier. Looks like Barr just tucked that down and then found his receiver out on the right flat. Garcia able to pull it down close to the sideline and make a great grab, and that'll move the chains and also move the Pintos into Eldon territory. They're at the Eldon 46 now, having no problems with this Eldon defense led by Glenn Lemon, his first season here in Eldon. Here's the pitch outside. Number 33, they're running back. He cuts back around, makes a few guys miss, still on his feet to the 20, to the 10, to the five, and he is into the house. Seth Fairchild makes a handful of Mustangs miss and goes all the way to pay dirt, extending the Pinto lead six to 16 to zero here. So the Mustangs not only able not to get anything going offensively, they're having a world of trouble stopping this high octane Pinto rushing attack as well. So 16 nothing already. And Quavos will come in and try to add the extra point. Here's the hold and the kick is good so the pentos up by the score of 17-0 this is lake tv's game of the week and we'll return after this at farmers we make you smarter about insurance because what you don't know can hurt you what if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years what if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items and what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident sup the more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Back here at Victor Field in Eldon, where the Mustangs are already down by the score of 17-0. They're set to get the ball back at the 944 mark of this second quarter. Quavo okay, set to kick it deep now for the Pentos. Lister back for the Mustang, as is Le Lemon. 
Here's the kick, Lister lets it go out. Nice job by the young man, that's an illegal procedure penalty and the Mustangs will get it at the 35 yard line. While we've got this second, we'd like to thank one of our sponsors, the Smart Postal Center, for fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing, and business services. It's Smart Postal Center, 4320 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, or on the web at smartpostalcenters.com. So the Mustang offense and able to get much going. They did have a couple of first downs in their first possession, but not much since then. So now Greenwald, he'll set under center and he'll look to get something going here. Plenty of time remaining, no reason to panic here if you're the Mustangs. Greenwald now, he'll keep try to keep the option and he is gobbled up there by the Pentos. Ferocious front line for a loss of four and young man has nowhere to go with no time to get anything going does Wyatt Greenwald. The Pinto's defense is really starting to key in on this running game of the Mustangs. They're gonna to have to switch it up here to get the ball down, down the field. So second down and 14 with nine minutes and change remaining. 17-0 already, the Pintos are as good as advertised thus far. Greenwald under center. And he is hit and the ball is on the ground. And I think the Pintos got it. You've got to be kidding me. And the Mustangs maintain possession, but wow. That was, I don't know which Pinto player it was, but he busted through the line, timed the snap just right, and hit Greenwald before he had an opportunity to hand the ball off to Lemon. So he loses it, and Lemon able to grab it, and the Mustangs will face a third and 20. And what is an ugly game so far for the Mustangs is getting uglier by the minute. Third down and 20 now. Here's Greenwald. He'll roll out. He gets a little bit of daylight now. Try to get outside. He'll lower the head and get a few. He gains about eight yards on third down and 20. So nice positive play for the Mustangs. That'll bring up fourth down and 12. This game brought to you by Quick Car. For professional car and boat detailing, visit Quick Car at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, home of the Unlimited Car Wash Club, and you can like them on Facebook at Quick Car Lake. Car with a K. So Greenwalt now set in punt formation. He punts it back, and that one's taking a Mustang bounce and goes out there at the 35 where the Pintos will take over. So we'll be back after a short commercial break. This is Lake TV's Game of the Week. At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We got the spirit, we're hot, we can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Lake TV back here at Victor Field and Dylan Albertson the stud playmaker, Tri-County Conference. One of the top players in the conference is still on the bench now there for the Pentos. We'll try to keep you updated on that situation. We'll return to the game now where the Pentos take over at their own 35 yard line, have it first and 10. Here's the handoff from Barr and the Mustangs swarm to the ball carrier and take him down after a modest gain of three on the play. So. Second down and seven now. Yeah, number 53, Justin Asher did a great job staying in that hole, making the stop there on the running play. So Asher, the tackler for the Mustangs, second down and seven upcoming.
Far under center. He's gonna fake the end around. Now he's gonna keep it. He's got blockers. We got another flag. And Barr takes it all the way up to midfield, but we do have laundry on the field. So we get that straightened out. We'll give a shout out to one of our sponsors. Save a lot. Save a lot is your neighborhood grocery store. Fresh foods at refreshing prices in Camdenton. Lori and Versailles, you can save a lot by shopping at Save a Lot. So it's against the Pentos and it is a hole that'll scoot them back all the way to their own 29 yard line. So second down and 17 maybe coming up for the Pentos. These penalties are the only thing keeping the Pinto offense at bay right now. Yeah, if they wouldn't be backing it up, they'd probably have a larger lead. 6.43 remaining in the second quarter. Now Barr under center. He gives the inside a handoff, and that's, oh, nice hit there by Mustang. Number 11, Zach Lehman coming up and making the hit. Tackled by number 24, Dylan Dodds for the Mustangs. Dodds in on the tackle for the marooning goal here in Eldon. And I don't know how high expectations were for the Mustangs coming into this game, but the crowd fairly quiet, and we are only halfway through the second quarter, but the score already 17-0. The Pentos now third down and eight. The Mustangs would love to get their defense off the field. Here's Barnell, drops back. He's under pressure, he scrambles, keeps his legs moving, and he's got the first down up to the 48-yard line. They're gonna call it the 47 before stepping out. A break for the Pentos, the Mustangs look to have him stop dead in his track before Barr made an athletic play and tucked and run for another Pinto first down. You're right, Barr just kind of hung back there in the pocket, waiting, waiting, threw in a pump fake, got the defender in the air. Went right around him and fouled a blocker down the right sideline there for a first down. And a play like that can be deflating for a defense who's already, you know, on wit's end after the way this first quarter and a half. And on a third and eight where you look to have him stop, you want to get off the field. So, oh, and there's a handoff in the backfield on the Mustangs for a loss of four now. Nice job. Ball carrier number 33, Seth Fairchild. Stop dead in his tracks in the backfield by the Mustangs. Hit by number 12, Chris Lemon for the Mustangs. So the younger of the two Lemons now, Chris, younger brother in there with the stick. Second down and 13, we only have 5.15 remaining in this first half. So second down and 13. Pento's quarterback bar under center. And yeah, there's gotta be a flag. Two guys were in motion. What, before the snaps, that's going to be a legal shift a flag on the play. or a legal procedure on the Pentos. Yeah, a legal shift on the offense. There's another five yards. Legal shift against the Pentos. While, we, while we've got a second, let's hear from our sponsor, Laser Force. Where's the fun? Every kid knows the fun is at Laser Force Laser Tag on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. The fun starts at Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Again, another penalty on the uh, Pinto's offense here, bringing them back another five yards. But smart job by the Elling coaching staff. They're going to decline the penalty and say, we stopped them for no gain. No, we stopped them for a five-yard loss anyway, so we'll decline that and take the loss of Dallas. So third down and 18 now for the Pentos. Here's Barr under center. And another penalty. They're everywhere. There's laundry on the field. False start on the offense. Offside. I stand corrected. Offside on the Mustang. So provoking the false start, giving the five yard back. So third down and 13 now. Well, we've got a second. Let's hear from Chris Wagner at Farmers Insurance. He's local, he's professional. He's your Farmers Insurance agent at the lake. Call Chris Wagner, your local Farmers Insurance agent. 573 302 0001. Out of the shotgun now is Barr. In stride to his playmaking receiver. Number 25, I don't know who that is. We don't have a roster with that jersey number, but a really nice throw, and Barr has been impressive delivering the football. Every time he steps back, he's looking pretty confident there he's gonna make the completion. 
Nice throw by Barr, and on a third and 13, the Mustang defense unable to get off the field once again. High snap pulled down by Barr. He fakes the pitch, and the Mustang defense there. Handful of guys in on the tackle, including number 54, Graham Baca, who makes the Barr. stop. Carry the ball. Tackle by number 12, Chris Lemon. So second down and 12 after a loss of two. Mustangs desperately trying to get off the field defensively and get some life back into Victor Field. Beautiful field they've got here at Elvin. So Barr now under center. In motion was number 11, Walker Bogart. He's taken down after a gain of three. Number 11, Walker Bogart on the carry. The, Must, the Mustangs are really going to have to bear down here on this third down and get off the field. The last, last two opportunities they've had on third down, the Pintos have made uh, huge plays to keep the chains moving. Yeah, third down and six plus, you really want to get off the field, and the Mustangs unable to do so thus far. So third down and nine now, big play for the Elden defense. And offsides on Mustangs causing the false start. We'll wait for the official call. Sloppy game so far, Matt. Yeah, it has not been uh, very precise at all, but while we've got a second, let's hear from Precision Auto. Precision Auto Repair is the real deal on automotive car and truck repair. Next time your vehicle needs service, check out Mike and the boys at Precision Auto. 1024 Industrial Drive in Osage Beach. Precision Auto. And the Mustangs catch a break. Will look to be false start provoked by, or provoked by the Mustangs offsides was actually they're going to go ahead and tag California with a false start call. So California sideline wondering what the deal is that nonetheless, third and 14, the Mustangs have to get off the field here. We talked about it, partner. Third and long trying to get off the field. So here's Barno out of the shotgun. He'll drop underneath. Now he's under pressure and he's going to be sacked there by a handful of Mustangs for a big loss and the crowd loves that here at Elvin. Yeah, the, the Mustangs finally able to get off uh, the field here on third down. They did a great job on coverage on that play. His bar just kind of sat in the pocket there looking for a receiver, couldn't find anybody, and eventually a defensive line just came and tracked him down for a huge loss. Yeah, Justin Asher in on the sack. Very nice job. And See if this doesn't spark maybe an Elvin score before the half. So here's the punt by Barr. It's back. Lister now going to wisely move away and the ball will settle there at the 23 so the Mustangs will bring out their two-minute drill after we return. This is Lake TV's Game of the Week. High school football season is just about here and Lake TV will be there for every exciting play. We're delay broadcasting every game on TV, on YouTube and on our website. We've put together three exciting sponsorship packages that will fit perfectly with your business and your budget. Your business will be showcased in every game all season. It's great exposure for your business and a great opportunity to show support for your favorite team. To learn more about sponsoring high school football on Lake TV, call us at 573-552-8832. Be a part of televised local high school football. Call today. JJ Twinks. Pizza and Pub. It's the lake's favorite family restaurant, where past meets present. We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30, seven days a week. We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place, from antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old-time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, Step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two-for-one happy hour Monday through Friday from 3 to 6. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carryout or patio dining. Or enjoy full table service, beer, wine, and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs for family fun, for late night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. All right, we're back here at Victor Field. Greenwald now under center. He's going to give it to Quack, and he'll make his way up to the 27-yard line. He's got four Green yards Green on the ball. carry. Yeah, this California Number defense is really impressing me. They're, the they're yeah. uh, very sure at tackling and really getting a lot of helmets around the football. 
and Eldon, who's put up 30 points plus in the first two weeks, is held scoreless with a minute 40 left in the first half. Here's Greenwald now. He'll throw across his body and got Kreekhauser. Nice play developing, and he makes a guy miss up to midfield before being taken down at the 49. So, really nice play, 22 yard gain. And that's the second time we've seen Kreekhauser make a big catch in right. a tight end position. And here are the Mustangs with the hurry up offense, trying to get something going now out of the shotgun is Greenwell. He's got three wide receivers, the bottom of your screen, one top. Green White will roll to his right, now throw again. He's got number 11, and there you go. Mustangs, another first down, a gain of 19. Zach Lemon on the reception. Yeah. Gets out of bounds and stops the clock at 118. I was calling for this a little bit earlier in the second half. I wanted to see the uh, Mustangs switch it up and start moving the ball through the air. It looks like it's working out pretty well for them right now. And after the Mustangs ran on first down, I thought we weren't going to see that sense of urgency, but here it comes. So. Greenwald under center. The Mustangs looking to make something happen here. He's gonna fake the handoff. Greenwald now trying to split the defenders and he's taken down there. So a loss of two or three. So, short loss on the play. This game brought to you by Replay for multi-console video gaming. There's a new gamer in town at a new address. Replay in their new location at 4081 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Check them out at the gaming lounge because you'll want to play. Now Greenwald under pressure, a little flip pass just out of the reach of Quok. And if he caught that and could have made the first guy miss, he'd have been off to pay dirt. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to set up a little bit of a screen play there, but the uh, rush from the defensive line just got to Greenwald a little too quick for the play. And I know that it wasn't a completion, but I felt like Greenwald did a nice job of waiting to get rid of the ball. Just put a little too much on it. So third down and 13, 42 seconds remaining here in the first half. And a half that has flown by already. Mustangs now out of the shotgun. Here's Greenwald. He'll look to his right. He's under pressure. He'll be rushed out. He's going to keep it and run. He's going to get outside before being pushed out of the... 33, so he gains five or six. We're going to give him six yards on a third down and 13, and that'll bring up a fourth down and seven. But I imagine the Mustangs will go for it here at the 26 yard line of the Pentos, and they will partner. The offense coming back out. Greenwald now under center. A big play here. It looks like California may call a timeout. Elvin actually will burn a timeout, so we'll take a short break. This is Lake TV's Game of the Week. Quick boat car in Osage Beach. Wash, detail, lube. And now, mobile boat detail. Where's the bun? Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Real laser tag. Real fun. A great place to have fun for the kids, teens, and adults. Located at 5473 Osage Beach Parkway. Take Highway 54 to Case Road Exit and follow the sign. No real gas pass in making this commercial. Back here at Victor Field and the Mustangs knocking on the doorstep. They're going to be facing a fourth down and six. At the Pinto 26 with only 35 seconds remaining, this game brought to you by J.J. Twiggs. J.J. Twiggs has a new location inside the new Deerbergs and upstairs at the Lakeview Terrace. New place, great food, and a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. J.J. Twiggs at Deerbergs in Osage Beach. This Lake TV broadcast is brought to you by Eris's Pizza. Eris's puts a new spin on an old Italian favorite, pizza. Taste how the Greeks make pizza at Eris's Pizza and Pub. They're in the Pruitt Plaza Shopping Center in Osage Beach. This broadcast also brought to you by Home Comfort Furnishings. Choosing new furniture is easy as one, two, three. At Home Comfort Furnishings next to the Ozark Opry and Osage Beach Parkway, the lake's only authorized Ashley Furniture dealer, Home Comfort Furnishing, one, two, three. So crowd getting rowdy here, fourth down and six. They'll come back out of the shotgun. Greenwald now, he'll take the snap, he'll roll to his left. Throwing across his body, got his target 
And that's Lemon all the way down to the 10 yard line. We'll give him the nine, so big gain on fourth down, all the way down to the nine yard line. Well, the Mustangs will have it first and goal, and they'll have a few opportunities to punch it in the end zone. So nice call right there by Coach Jolly on fourth down and six. He had Lemon going across and a beautiful ball by Greenwald. So first down and nine, the clock is running. Here's Greenwald now. He'll fake the handoff. He'll look for Creekhausen. That ball's picked, taken back to the 20. And looking for some daylight down the sideline and then taken out there. And we've got flags everywhere. That's gonna be a late hit on Mustang quarterback Wyatt Greenwald who is not happy with himself after underthrowing Creekhauser. The Pintos make a play and they'll get 15 yards tacked on. So they'll have the ball at the Mustang 45 yard line with five and a half seconds remaining. It'll be interesting to see if Coach Albertson will take a shot. So weird series of events for the Mustangs who are knocking on the doorstep and things get worse as they turn the ball over and the Mustangs are on, on the verge of scoring and, and looking to gain a little momentum into halftime and then that happens. Yeah, Will, they took the words right out of my mouth. I was about to compliment them on how well they just operated the two minute drill here to end the first half. March the ball down the field and then an errant throw by the quarterback um, caused the interception from Greenwald out there competing. He got back and made a nice tackle on him. He did get charged with the uh, personal foul. So here's Barr now for California. They're going to be going for it. He's out of the shotgun. Here he goes. He throws it deep. Got his man knocked down and almost caught on the deflection. But it will fall harmlessly to the ground. So football fans, don't go anywhere. This is Lake TV's coverage of Game of the Week. Your Pintos lead the Mustangs. 17-0, and we will return on Lake TV. Keep your car rolling down the road. The right tire for you depends on the road you drive, the load you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto and Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto and Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Your car rolling down the road. Pepperoni Bills and the Yeasty Boys. Pepperoni Bill. Double G. Professor Rob. Dougie Fresh. Can't deny. I'm not a schoolie on flavor. Leave my pro alone. Power of five. You want a piece of this? Chilling in the summer or you're floating in a boat and you need a place to eat. Yeah, you need a place to go. Well, downtown sea. Time for keeping it real with the best in the West. I call it Pepperoni Bills. It's so cool, so hip, and so right. Fresh eats made from scratch every day and every night. Yeah, they'll serve you with a smile. Keep you coming back from over with over 50 fresh toppings and a mano in the floor. So bring your kids, bring your mom, bring your wife, bring your appetite. And live the fresh life at Pepperoni Bills. You want a piece of this? With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. At Save-A-Lot, we've lowered prices on our most popular items, all the really important things you use every day. Featuring a wide variety of hand-selected meats, cut fresh in-store every day, so you get the freshest cuts at the lowest price, with savings up to 40% on every trip. Catch great deals during our September seafood extravaganza. Or save big on banquet frozen dinners just 89 cents each. And assorted varieties of kick and cereal are just $1.79 each. Save a lot. Savings made easy. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high-quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service, and we are your local Connect Point alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. 
We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. And now we proudly present your Eldon High School Marching Mustangs under the field direction of drum majors Katie Partridge, Lacey Fitzpatrick, and Ashley Pettit. The Marching Mustangs are excited to take you to the Big Apple for a taste of Broadway. Beginning our performance, we start on the streets of New York with West Side Stories Tonight and America. Next, we will showcase the color guard under the field direction of Sydney Bishop and Rachel Seek with a ballad from one of the Broadway's biggest hits, The Phantom of the Opera. Featuring trumpet soloist torn shirts, here is Andrew Lloyd Webber's Music of the Night.
The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza, pizza so perfect, it could only have the Eris name. Eris's Pizza. We've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? Sup? So, the more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. At Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, you're sure to find prices so low you have to see them to believe them. With over 10,000 square feet of showroom space, you won't believe our selection. Whether remodeling an old home, purchasing a new one, or just looking for an upgrade, Home Comfort Furnishings has you covered. From sofas to recliners, bedding to dining sets, we have incredible deals to complete any room in your house. Home Comfort Furnishings in Osage Beach, open seven days a week next to Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway. Lake TV is back here at Victor Field. We're set to call the second half of the Elvin, California High School Dist or Conference matchup. First half featured a potent dosage of California offense, and they lead 17 0. But Elvin did show some signs of life on a two minute drill to close out the first half, driving all the way inside the Pinto 10 before a late turnover stopped that drive in its track. So, Elvin showed a little light before the half. We'll see they are going to get the ball to start the second half. We'll see if they can't come out and get something going here early against this Pinto defense. Right, they're really going to have to turn it around from their first half performance. Not much on the ground game on offense. Did have to give them some compliments on defense. They did a good job of holding this California team to only 17 points. They are averaging about 40 points plus per game so far this season. So let's see what the Mustangs can get uh, going here in the second half. Other positives to touch on. By the way, Matt Wobbs are my color commentator. Next to me, I'm William Holtz. Both with Lake TV, we're in the booth with our director and producer, Sean Cover. And we are set for the second half of football here on Lake TV. And back to our point about positives for the Mustangs. The defenders did a great job swarming the ball carrier. They did a nice job tackling. It was just a couple plays, penalties, and of course the turnovers, a fumble and then the interception that kept this from being a really good ball game. So I thought the Mustangs were gonna receive the second half kickoff. They're set to kick anyway. A little squib picked up there by number 38. Nice hands for the young man. Number 38, Ramiro Garcia, grabs it and falls at the 46 yard line. So California starts with Excellent field position here in the second half of football. Tonight's broadcast brought to you by Smart Postal Center for fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing, and business services. It's Smart Postal Center at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway and Osage Beach are on the web at smartpostalcenters.com. So Barr now the handoff to his playmaker who's cut underneath. Good tackle there by number 58 of the Mustangs. Number 33, Seth Fairchild carrying the ball. Fairchild on the carry. He got about two yards before being taken down by the Mustang defender. Scrivener in on the tackle. Be great to see the Mustangs come out and get a turnover on downs, a three and out, a turnover. Uh-oh, here's the toss sweep to the potent. Number 11. We've already seen him, and that's Walker Bogart, who adds to his total on the evening with a first down carry. So California keeps the chains moving 
And they don't seem to be slowing down, Matt. Yeah, the Pinto is really like uh, number 11, Bogart. He's done a great job for him in the first half, and he's starting off pretty well here in the second half with a good carry. Coach, to Coach Albert sends credit. He does a nice job of getting Womack, or the ball carrier, the ball in, in different ways. And here's the inside give a couple yards before being taken down there by the Mustangs. But back to uh, Bogart. Coach Albertson gets him the ball a few different ways. We've seen him in motion getting the handoff. We've seen him on toss sweeps. We've seen him on double reverses. But they get the ball in his hands, and he's already made the Mustangs pay, taking one to the house earlier. So second down and eight now. Here's the pitch to the running back, and nice tackle from behind. Number 54, Graham Bauckham has the ball carrier. That's Seth Fairchild. The tailback for the Pentos. It was a great job by the Mustang defense in pursuit there, chasing down the ball carrier and getting him a stop for a loss of yardage. Yeah, Bauckham has him for a loss of four yards on the play. So really nice job by him to come in the outside end and, and clean that one up. So third down and 12 now here from the Pinto 44 yard line. Inside handoff, no now. Out of the backfield, and there he is again, number 11, Bogart, and he's all the way up to the 37-yard line. He'll be short of the yard to gain marker, but he is up to the 38-yard line, so fourth down and five for the Pentos with 9.35 remaining. Yeah, it looks like they're keeping the offense on the field right now. They're up by 17. They want to keep the pressure on the Mustangs and try and Put, uh, put a final nail in the coffin here. So fourth down and six, the Pentos will go inside Mustang territory. And here's the inside handoff. Turns out quarterback over the middle and incomplete. So the Mustangs defense comes up with a much needed turnover on downs. They'll take over at the 38 yard line. This is Lake TV's coverage of game of the week. We'll be right back after this. Where's the bun? Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Real laser tag. Real fun. A great place to have fun for the kids, teens, and adults. Located at 5473 Osage Beach Parkway. Take Highway 54 to Case Road Exit and follow the sign. No real gas pass when making this commercial. My father, Ares Pardalis, grew up in Greece. When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza, pizza so perfect, it could only have the Ares name. Ares' Pizza, we've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. Lake TV, back here at Victor Field, and the Mustangs off of a much-needed turnover on downs. Greenwald under center, pitches it out, his tail back, and that's Lemon on the carry. He's got about seven. So nice positive yardage to start in the second half, and I'll tell you what, partner, for as atrocious as the first half was for these Mustangs, they marched down the field and get a touchdown here. We're talking them right back into the ball game. That's right. They had a great stop on that first series, holding the Pinto offense to no points and getting the ball back for their offense. So Greenwell back under center now. He'll fake the handoff and roll to his right. Splits the defenders. He's on his feet to the 50. He got the first down and more. He'll be forced out of bounds inside Pinto territory. They're going to mark him at the 44. So nice play. Big yards on the second down carry. So nice job, Eldon now inside Pinto's territory. And hopefully the Mustangs can talk about this in the tail of two halves if they keep this up. Matt? Yeah, he did a great job of staying with that play. He had a couple defensive linemen right in his face. He ended up keeping the ball for a good 15-yard uh, gain. So a fresh set of downs for the Mustangs to work with. Out of the shotgun is Greenwell. He looks left. He may keep it. He's going to be taken down hard right there for no gain. So second down and 10 
This game brought to you by Quick Car. For professional car and boat detailing, visit Quick Car at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Quick Car, home of the Unlimited Car Wash Club, and you can like them on Facebook at Quick Car Lake. So second down and 10, we've seen that option for Greenwald a couple of times, and he's had a hard time getting out of the grasp of these stingy Pinto defenders. Second down and 10 now, and we've got motion, and there's laundry on the field. So while they squared things away on the field, we have a false start. Be a five-yard penalty. Our sponsors making this broadcast possible. Save a lot is your neighborhood grocery store. Fresh foods at refreshing prices and Camdenton, Lori, and Versailles. Shop at Save a Lot so you can save a lot. So the Mustangs, thorn in their side, been the penalties tonight. Second down and 15. Greenwald out of the shotgun. He takes it and rolls to his right. He's got his guy, that's Lemon now, who makes a couple of guys miss. And all the way up, the ball's on the ground. And California has it. So after the first down by Lemon, a nice hit by the Pinto defender, knocking it free. And the third turnover of the night by the Mustangs proves costly. And the Pintos will take over at the 37-yard line. Again, the Pintos defense taking the words right out of my mouth. Just about to compliment the Mustangs on opening it up here in the second half with some good play calling, putting the ball through the air and on the ground. And uh, after the completion, we had a uh, fumble recovered by the Pintos. And now we have got an official timeout. So, all right, we'll take a short commercial break. This is Lake TV's Game of the Week. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high-quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service, and we are your local Connect Point alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway, or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. At Save-A-Lot, we've lowered prices on our most popular items, all the really important things you use every day. Featuring a wide variety of hand-selected meats, cut fresh in-store every day, so you get the freshest cuts at the lowest price, with savings up to 40% on every trip. Catch great deals during our September seafood extravaganza, or save big on banquet frozen dinners just 89 cents each, and assorted varieties of cake and cereal are just $1.79 each. Save-A-Lot, savings made easy. Lake TV would like to thank its sponsors, Laser Force. Where's the fun? Every kid knows the fun is at Laser Force Laser Tag Zone on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. The fun starts at Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. So right as the Mustangs have positive yardage, moving the ball, we've got their third turnover. So Pentos take back over. Here's the sweep. Bogart outside, he'll cut back inside. The Mustangs defense a little tighter this second half. He only gains one before being taken down there. Yeah, the Mustangs offense is putting a lot of pressure on its defense right now, right here, asking them for another big stop. Give him the opportunity to get back in this football game. So second down and nine now at the 39 yard line of California. The Pintos have possession. Quarterback Jaden Barr now, he'll take the snap, he'll hand off to running back who's got some room. He may go all the way. Seth Fairchild now being taken down and Lister makes a nice play to come up and take him down. But a big gash on second down and nine. Fairchild takes it all the way down to the 16 yard line. Yeah, that's Fairchild's second big, big run of, the, of this football game. He's tough to bring down once he gets into the open field. Yeah, Fairchild making it very hard on the Elvin defenders to get a grasp on him. His first, second, and third moves have been very, very quick tonight. 
So first down and 10, ball at the Eldon 16. California looking to extend their lead here. Hand off to number 40, up the middle, and he'll roll ahead down to the seven yard line. Jerry Lutz, the ball carrier, big number 40 for the Pentos, gets positive yardage and takes it down to the seven yard line, bringing up a second down and one. Mustangs in desperate need of a stop or a turnover here. Second down and one. Here's the handoff. Nice tackle, but not before. Fairchild gets another Pinto first down inside the five, so Pintos will have it there first down and goal. Chris Wagner, Farmers Insurance, he's local, he's professional. He's your Farmers Insurance agent at the lake. Call Chris Wagner, your local Farmers Insurance agent at 302-0001. Chris Wagner for Farmers Insurance at the Lake of the Ozarks. So here's Barr now. He hands it off inside, and the Pentos look, and they've got another touchdown. Nice job, Pentos push it right down the Mustang throat. That's Lutz, his second carry of the possession. This one good for six, and the Pentos lead all the way up to 23, Mustang zero. Here's the extra point attempt now for California. Up and good. So the Pintos lead the Elden Mustangs 24-0. This is week three, game of the week on Lake TV. With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044. JJ Twinks Pizza and Pub. It's the lake's favorite family restaurant where past meets present. We're famous for our fresh homemade pizzas and our lunch buffet till 2.30, seven days a week. We're also famous for the fun stuff plastered all over the place. From antler chandeliers to the games area where the kids can play to the old time photos on the walls. JJ Twigs is the place where family and friends meet for good food and good times. And for a taste of late night life, step into Risky's. It's a great place to relax and meet new friends or just hang out. There's a two for one happy hour Monday through Friday from three to six. And try our newest JJ Twigs at the new Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Place your order at our express kitchen for fast carryout or patio dining, or enjoy full table service, beer, wine, and cocktails upstairs on the Lakeview Terrace with a spectacular view of Lake of the Ozarks. JJ Twigs, for family fun, for lake night life, and for a fantastic view of Lake of the Ozarks. At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? So, The more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Lake TV back here, and the Pinto set to kick away. And the Mustangs down 24 0 here with 5.37 remaining in the third quarter. An end over and kick taken right there by Lister. Now he's across the 15, changing directions over to the 20, across the 25, and drug down there at the 27 yard line. This Lake TV broadcast is brought to you by Precision Auto. Precision Auto Repair is the real deal on automotive car and truck repair. Next time your vehicle needs service, check out Mike and the boys at Precision Auto, 1024 Industrial Drive in Osage Beach. So not a whole lot working here for the uh, Mustangs. They had a positive play the pass before it was fumbled and California takes over. So first down and 10 Mustangs. They're at the 27 inside give to the running back. That might have been Quok on the carry. So three yards on first down. I'm interested to see what the Mustangs do with this possession. Are they gonna 
keep it safe and play and, and try and run the football, or are they going to open it up here and see if they can get some points on the board? Well, you've got to think, Matt, they're going to have to air it out a little bit and make this a ball game, and here we go now. Greenwald calls an audible, trips to the bottom of your screen. He's out of the shotgun. He takes the snap and rolls to his right. He's going to throw into the defender's hands, and that's his second interception, this one down to the 20. This young man may go all the way and will come back. We've got a flag on the play, and that is probably going to be a hole against California, but Greenwell picked again. This one taken all the way to the house, but we do have a flag on the play. Right, we got Barr, Bar, the uh, Pinto's quarterback, showing up. Um, Greenwald from the Mustangs went ahead and made a play there. Yeah, you know, the defender hopped in front of it, and Greenwald is trying to make a play. You know, got to be frustrating. Your team's down 24 nothing. You've been making plays. Your guys aren't holding on to the football, and kid's just battling, and he doesn't catch a break there. So California won't get the touchdown. They will retain possession, though. They have it at the Eldon 40, and the Pentos will take over there. So our sponsor is making this broadcast possible. Precision Auto Repairs is the real deal on automotive car and truck repair. Next time your vehicle needs service, check out Mike and the boys at Precision Auto on 1024 Industrial Drive in Osage Beach. So the Pinto is now at the Eldon 40. Bar now under center. He's going to give it out to Fairchild, who's got some room, cuts back, and taken down there by number 58 of the Mustangs. Nice hit there, and he drives him back. Number 33, Seth Fairchild carrying the ball. Good, by, good job of the Mustangs defense there, stringing that play out, letting the guys come around him and make the tackle. So second down and nine. And if you're the Pentos here, you've, you've got no reason to throw the ball. You've got no reason to be in any kind of hurry. You can just run the ball and let that clock continue to run. So here's Barr now under center. He's going to fake the handoff. He's got a man wide open. And that's Bogart who catches it and then stumbles at the five yard line, streaking free into the secondary and Bogart's got a 34 yard gain. And the Pentos will take over there, first and goal at the six. While we've got a second, we'd like to thank Replay for multi, for multi council video gaming. There's a new gamer in town at a new address. Replay in their new location at 4081 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. Check it out. You'll want to play. As will I, Matt. Want to play. Now here's the inside give. That's number 40 again, and he is down at the one-inch line. Or... Yeah, they're going to mark him just down inside of uh, the one-yard line. Looked like he might have scored, but Lutz now taken down there inside the one, so second down and goal. If the Pentos are able to punch this one in from the one-inch line, That'll put the score at 30 to zero. We'll see if the Mustangs don't have anything to say about that. And it'll be the, the quarterback, Jordan Barr. He'll keep it up the middle and he'll score for the Pentos, moving that score to 30 to zero. So Friday night football here on Lake TV, kicking off a big week of football. College football tomorrow. Of course, professionals, NFL Thursday night. We saw some football last night, and you'll see some more on Sunday. The extra point up and good. So California now with a demanding 31-0 lead on Lake TV. We'll have the rest of this one after this. Smart Postal Centers is your Lake Area Business Center. We provide safe and reliable packing services and shipping services by FedEx, DHL, or United States Postal Service. Quick, high quality copy and print service provided at excellent prices. You can rely on us for blueprints, business cards, rack cards, brochures, and direct mail. End missed deliveries or trying to schedule a delivery. Package receiving is included with our mailbox service and we are your local ConnectPoint alternate delivery location. Smart Postal Center's fast and friendly service is becoming known for reliability, responsiveness, and innovative services. We are located in Osage Beach at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway, or visit us online at smartpostalcenters.com. My father, Eris Pardalis, grew up in Greece. 
When he arrived here 50 years ago, he brought with him a taste of his childhood, a delicacy he would introduce to Missouri that brought joy to the taste buds of America. Pizza, pizza so perfect, it could only have the heiress name. Heiress's Pizza. We've been building communities around delicious food since 1961 and making friends for life. Lake TV returns at Victor Stadium in Eldon, Missouri. William Holtz here with my partner, Matt Wamser, and it has been all California, partner. Yeah, California's really impressing me this evening. They've done a great job on both sides of the football and really just putting it to the Mustangs right now. So the kickoff, Lister on a bounce. He's got it at his 12, changes direction. Nice block there. They're going to call an illegal block in the back, but I don't like the call by the official. And they're going to flag number 29, Raymond Kwok, who, who looked like he got the side of the Pinto defender. But this one's going to back Mustang, the Mustangs up deep into their own territory to start this possession. So, If you're hungry after the game, stop on by J.J. Twiggs. J.J. Twiggs has a new location inside the new Deerbergs and upstairs the Lakeview Terrace. New place, great food, and a fantastic view of the Lake of the Ozarks. J.J. Twiggs at Deerbergs in Osage Beach. So the Mustangs backed up to their own seven yard line and they're facing a monstrous 31 to zero lead here with three minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. This is Lake TV here in Eldon. Greenwald under center, he's gonna pitch it out. There's Lemon who has some room, makes a few guys miss and he's up to the 23 yard line. So he has a positive gain of 15 on first down, and the Mustangs want to see a lot more of that. Yeah, Lemon did a great job there of staying behind his blockers and keeping his feet moving. Picked up some big yardage for a first down. Yeah, Zach Lemon, he's been a consistent for the Mustangs tonight, not getting a lot of carries, but he's done a nice job when he's been able to. Here's Greenwald now, that's Quok inside Give. He's got about five yards on the quick carry, and that'll work. The Mustangs ideally really want to get on the board before this first quarter concludes here. Elvin, fortunate enough to open up the season with their first four ball games right here at Victor Field. This is their third of fourth, four games that'll start here at Victor Field. Greenwald now under center. He fakes the handoff and rolls to his left. He's got something. He cuts inside, has a few blockers, makes a couple guys miss, and has a nice gain of about 15, 16 yards up to the 44-yard line. Greenwald, a nice job going in traffic there. Mustangs have done a great job on this drive. They started on their own seven-yard line. They're now approaching midfield with a couple of first downs. Let's see if they can keep the ball moving. I think it's important here for Elvin to keep moving the ball and try to get a couple of scores here. And here's Greenwald, now he'll roll out, looking across his body and overshoots everybody. That ball will fall harmlessly to the ground, bringing up a second down and 10. Lister is intended target. And you know, I'm not sure how realistic the expectations were for Elvin coming into this game to beat the third ranked team in the state. Obviously, California didn't lose a regular season game last year, off to a very quick start this year. But I think it's important here for Eldon not to die. You've got a quarter plus remaining. Show that you know you want to be here and show that this season's not over just because you start one and two. So Greenwald under center, he'll pitch out. He's got Lemon who gets through the defender before being taken down there by a linebacker. He's got about four on the carry. Second down and 10 carry gets four, so third down and six upcoming. The Mustangs just shy of midfield. They've got it at 48. Play clock down to 17. Game clock down to a minute 20 remaining here in the third quarter. And the Mustangs now out of the huddle, third down and seven. Greenwald calls and burns a timeout. So 31-0 your score here in Eldon where the Pentos are manhandling the Mustangs. This is Lake TV's coverage of Game of the Week.
At Save-A-Lot, we've lowered prices on our most popular items, all the really important things you use every day. Featuring a wide variety of hand-selected meats, cut fresh in-store every day, so you get the freshest cuts at the lowest price, with savings up to 40% on every trip. Catch great deals during our September seafood extravaganza, or save big on banquet frozen dinners just 89 cents each, and assorted varieties of pig and cereal are just $1.79 each. Save a lot. Savings made easy. Oh, those boys are much too much. Those boys are much too much. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We got the spirit. We're hot. We can't be stopped. We're going to beat them and bust them. The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Call or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. And Lake TV returns. William Holtz along with my partner, Matt Wamser. And we are witnessing a Camden 10 blowout, but... Eldon blowout, sorry. There's the pitch now. Lister, they look to give the pitch to, but it's going to be Lemon. He'll keep it on third down and seven. He gets about two. Camden's at Lebanon tonight. Wondering what's going on in that game, and I've got the Lakers on my mind. But I assure you, we're here in Eldon following the maroon and gold Mustangs who find themselves in a big hole as the third quarter winds down. Hungry after tonight's ball game, don't hesitate to stop at Aris's Pizza where they put a new spin on an old Italian favorite. Greenwald now, he'll drop back. He throws, he has his man. Lister just overshoots him. Now, I thought Lister could have kept going and maybe made a play on the ball. He got turned around, so that will fall to the ground. The Mustangs will turn over on downs, and it'll be first down and 10 there. Back to our sponsor, Aris's Pizza, where they put, an, I, they put a nice spin on an old Italian favorite. Taste how the Greeks make pizza at Aris's Pizza and Pub. They're in the pre whip Plaza Shopping Center in Osage Beach. First down and 10 now for the Pentos. They'll take over at midfield. And there's their powerful fullback. He gets the ball and he gets about eight yards on the carry. That's Lutz, who gets all the way up to the 42 yard line. For California, Berger actually on the carry. Lutz getting a breather on that play. California. We'll watch the clock run down. It's 31-0. Mustangs find themselves in a hole on Lake TV. This is our game of the week. Keep your car rolling down the road. The right tire for you depends on the roads you drive, the loads you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto & Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto & Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Keep your car rolling down the road. With thousands of games and movie titles to choose from, Replay in Osage Beach has your entertainment needs in mind. Parents enjoy a night out and let the kids play in one of our 16 game rooms, featuring the latest game consoles and games. Form teams for online play or compete in one of our mini tournaments. Replay's friendly and educated staff is always available to answer your DVD or gaming questions. Give us a call at 573-348-0044 We're back here on Lake TV. California has the ball, the Ellen 42. Here's the inside give. Number 41 with his second straight carry, and he's got about five yards and a Pinto first down. Yeah, the must or the uh, Pinto offense is really starting to look comfortable. And speaking of comfortable, we've got home comfort furnishings. Choosing new furniture is as easy as one, two, three. At Home Comfort Furnishings, next to the Ozark Opry on Osage Beach Parkway, the lake's only authorized Ashley Furniture dealer. Home Comfort Furnishings, one, two, three. They sure are starting to look comfortable. Here's the pitch now, and that's number 11. We've seen him a handful of times tonight. Bogard in on the sweep, and he's got about five yards in the first down carry. 
I'd like to thank one of our sponsors, Smart Postal Service, for fast and professional packing, shipping, mailing, and business services. It's Smart Postal Center at 4320 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, and you can find them on the web at smartpostalcenters.com. Again, that is smartpostalcenters.com. So the Pinto is now second and six. Inside, give a nice hit there. Number 58 of the Mustangs, nice hit there is Fairchild. Taking it down, so third down and eight upcoming. It's good to see the Mustangs defense keeping up the intensity and still going out there and making plays on defense. Yeah, you could roll over, but you don't want to. Long season still ahead of you. A lot of people believe this Elvin team may play deep into November, possibly even December, depending on how far they can get into the playoffs. So here's Barr now under center. He's going to, no, he's not. He's going to keep it now. Looks downfield and a nice grab by number 30, who has the first down and then slides down. That's number 38 Garcia with the grab and slide. And he'll move the chains up to the Mustang 27-yard line. Yeah, the Pinto is continuing to move the ball down the field here in the fourth quarter. So Barr now will remain out of the shotgun. 10-20 remaining. Lake TV here in Eldon, Missouri. This is our week three coverage for game of the week. The inside give. Number 41, nothing doing. He gets a couple on the play. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Quick Car. For professional car and boat detailing, visit Quick Car, 3730 Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach, home of the Unlimited Car Wash Club. Like them on Facebook at Quick Car Lake. And Save A Lot. Save A Lot is your neighborhood grocery store. Fresh foods at refreshing prices in Camdenton. Lori Ann Versailles. Shop at Save A Lot where you could save a lot. Here's the handoff to Fairchild. He busts his way up inside the 20. He'll be just short of a Pinto first down there, and that'll bring up a third down and one for California. Your score 31 to zero. The Pintos in demand of this one. We're inside 10 minutes remaining in the ball game. Looks like the Pinto offense is just happy to keep the ball on the ground, keep the clock melting away. Yeah, and no. Get out of here with a victory. Yeah, no reason not to. If you're the Pentos, you've had no problems thus far. So keep it going if you're Coach Albertson and the Pentos. Third down and one. They're going to give it to their fullback, and that's Lutz. And he's all the way to the 40, or number 40, all the way inside the five, carrying Mustang defenders. And that'll be first down and goal right at the five. Hey, Will, where's the fun? Laser Force. Where every kid knows the funds at Laser Force. Laser tag on Osage Beach Parkway in Osage Beach. The fun starts at Laser Force. My partner, Matt Wamser, trying to convince me to go play some laser tag with him after the broadcast. I cannot, partner. Sorry to let you down. So first down and goal for the Pentos. The inside give to the fullback who keeps it going. He'll be down to the two-yard line. and A nice job to make the initial. Mustang defender miss. Second down and goal upcoming. And I'll tell you what, Glenn Lemon's defense go back to the drawing board after this one. Yeah, definitely. The, uh, the, the California offense has been all over them here this entire game, and uh, they're looking to punch another six points in right here. Second down and two at the two-yard line. So here's the give, and Lutz is into the end zone. California. Scores again, 37 to zero with 8.06 remaining at Victor Field. So this one far and away getting out of hand here in Eldon. Right, Lutz has really got a nose for the end zone. I'm not sure if that's his uh, third I, on the night or not. I believe but is, it's his third score, partner. Every time he gets to the goal line, he's uh, finding a way to get himself a touchdown. So the extra point up. And good, and we're going to take a commercial break. The Pentos push their lead to 38. They lead by a score of 38-0. This is Lake TV's Game of the Week. 
At Farmers, we make you smarter about insurance. Because what you don't know can hurt you. What if you didn't know that it's smart to replace washing machine hoses every five years? What if you didn't know that you might need extra coverage for more expensive items? And what if you didn't know that teen drivers are four times more likely to get into an accident? What's up? The more you know, the better you can plan for what's ahead. Talk to farmers and get smarter about your insurance. We are farmers. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. At Save A Lot, we've lowered prices on our most popular items, all the really important things you use every day. Featuring a wide variety of hand-selected meats, cut fresh in-store every day, so you get the freshest cuts at the lowest price, with savings up to 40% on every trip. Catch great deals during our September seafood extravaganza, or save big on banquet frozen dinners just 89 cents each, and assorted varieties of cake and cereal are just $1.79 each. Save A Lot, savings made easy. The right tire for you depends on the roads you drive, the loads you carry, and the vehicle you own. The experts at Precision Auto & Tire will help you make the right tire choice. They stock most major brands like Michelin, Goodyear, Bridgestone, Firestone, Toyo, and more, all at the lowest possible price. Keep your car rolling and your family safe with Precision Auto & Tire, Osage Keep Beach. Keep your car rolling down the road. And we're back here, and this broad, Lake TV broadcast is brought to you by Chris Wagner of Farmers Insurance. He's local, he's professional, he's your farmers insurance agent at the lake. Call Chris Wagner, 302-0001. Chris Wagner for Farmers Insurance at the Lake of the Ozarks. My partner, Matt Wamser, along with William Holtz in the booth. And you gotta talk about the high school level. We've seen a lot of kickers. None quite as impressive as this young man for California, Aaron Cuevas, who has already hit a 47-yard field goal on the night that probably would have been good from 55 yards. I would not be surprised if there are some college scouts after this young man. You don't see very often at this level guys kick field goals of that distance. Right, we talked about that last week, I think. Um, I was calling for, a field, for about a 37-yard, 40-yard field goal. And uh, I believe you were saying that's not possible here at the high school level. Well, this, uh, this kid here is showing us something tonight. Lister now, and he'll catch it in the end zone. So an automatic touchback. And the young man, Cuevas, does it all, booting that one into the end zone where the Mustangs will get it at their own 20 with 8.06 remaining. Let's take this second to thank our sponsor, Precision Auto. Precision Auto Repair is the real deal on automotive car and truck repair. Next time your vehicle needs service, check out Mike and the boys at Precision Auto. 1024 Industrial Drive in Osage Beach, Missouri. So the Mustangs now wanting to get rid of the shutout that's on the board. Here's the handoff to Lemon. Breaks a would-be tackler there and gets about two. Second and eight upcoming. Our broadcast on Lake TV where we will follow the hottest action in the lake area all season. Not possible without our sponsor, Replay. For multi-console video games, there's a new game in town at a brand new location. Replay in their new location at 4081 in Osage Beach Parkway. Check out the gaming lounge where you'll want to play. Greenwald now, he'll keep it on the scamper. Shuffles inside and... Gets a couple more, and that'll bring up second or third down and six. It's really surprised the Mustangs aren't going a no huddle out of the shotgun and airing it out. I mean, not that they're realistically thinking they're going to get back into the ball game, but you definitely want to try to get some offense going. Right at the end of the first half, they ran a great two-minute drill, came down into Pinto territory, the 20-yard line, before they uh, turned it over. So the two-minute drill, the hurry-up offense, really seemed to help the Mustangs in the first half. Here's Greenwald now, he's gonna air it out up the seam. Nice throw and it's held onto by number 11, Lemon, who makes a nice play. Zach Lemon up the seam. And what a throw by Greenwald. And Lemon took a shot but held on. So great grab, great pass, and Eldon a little something to smile about there. I bet the Jet and Patriot receivers should be here taking notes because they Struggled all night last night to catch those ones right in their bread basket. And Greenwald delivers a strike. He's out of the pocket now. He'll scramble, keep it himself. 
He's going to get about seven yards and run out of bounds. The clock will continue to run. Here was 6-10 remaining. Greenwald been all over the place. He has about five on the first down carry. We're inside of six minutes here in the fourth quarter. 5.50 remaining. Eldon facing a second down and four. Greenwald under center. He's going to give the inside handoff. Nice carry, and that's number nine for the Mustangs, right, Dylan Wood. Wood that's his first carry of the night, and he goes for five and a Mustang first down. Uh, the Mus first Mustangs got something going here. A couple of first downs here on this, uh, this drive, this series. So the chains are moving. Mustang into or Pinto territory. They're at the 38-yard line, 5.15 remaining. Here's the snap given up to Wood again, and he's got about three. Did a nice job as the exchange from Greenwald was almost ended up on the ground. Second down and seven upcoming. This game brought to you by J.J. Twiggs. They've got a new location inside the Deerbergs and upstairs in the Lakeview Terrace. New place, great food, and a fantastic view of the Lake of the Ozarks. J.J. Twiggs at Deerbergs in Osage Beach. Greenwalt now rolls out, he throws. That ball incomplete intended for Thomas Kriekhauser, but a nice job by Pinto defender number 23, Jacob Johnson on the play. So 4.30, the clock will continue to move. We're in a mercy clock situation here in beautiful Victor Stadium here in Elvin, and I'll tell you what, this is quite an upgrade from Alley Field. The Mustangs played at for so long in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. But here's Greenwald now out of the shotgun. He'll roll to his right. He throws, he's looking down the field, coming back to the ball, and that one will fall harmlessly as he was looking for Lister, and that one batted around a couple of times before falling to the turf. Yeah, I'd like to see the Mustang offense at least try to keep moving the ball downfield. They're not, they're not going to let the first half dictate what they do in the second half, so they're still trying to put some points on the board here. Yeah, we're inside of four minutes, 3.40, and the clock is running. Mustangs running out of time, and they're running out of downs. They have to convert this fourth down and seven. Play clock down to 11, and we've got a timeout here. We're going to take a commercial break. Lake TV's broadcast. I'm William Holtz along with Matt Wamser. We'll be right back with the rest of this one on Lake TV. Where's the fun? Laser Force Laser Tag Zone. Real laser tag. Real fun. A great place to have fun for the kids, teens, and adults. Located at 5473 Osage Beach Parkway. Take Highway 54 to Case Road Exit and follow the sign. No real gas pass in making this commercial. My name is Mike Burbank. Uh, I'm with Quick Car here in Osage Beach. We're located at 3730 Osage Beach Parkway, just a couple of blocks down from Hy-Vee Grocery Store here in Osage Beach. We are Osage Beach's only full service car wash, detail center, oil change, as well as we offer dockside boat cleaning services. Why don't you come on inside? We'll go ahead and give you a tour and show you a little bit more of what we do. My name is Mark Kronk. I'm the site manager here at Quick Car in Osage Beach. You're with me on our lube facility uh, where we offer full service express oil changes. We have a staff of ASC certified technicians to take care of you on your brakes. We do tire rotations, nitrogen fill for your tires, and a lot of other services. Now if you'd like to come with me, we can go over to our car wash and detail facility. I'll show you everything we do over there. You're sitting with me here on our detail facility. Uh, we do a lot of services here, going anywhere from interior cleaning uh, to full service detailing. We offer hand wipe downs and drying on the outside after the wash. You can add any of these services to any of our full service car washes. We also offer boat detailing where we come to your dock and we'll clean the boat right there at your dock. Now come with me over to our car wash tunnel. I'll show you why it's the number one car wash at the lake. You're with me now in our state-of-the-art car wash tunnel. We have uh, the best equipment that you can get. We have Envirosoft foam brushes that will get the car clean. We offer 
uh, really good soap, our triple foam polish. We have Rain X as well that you can get on your wash. And the car wash tunnel will dry the vehicle at the end so you can just drive in, drive out, and be on your way. And that concludes our tour. Thanks for visiting us here in Osage Beach at Quick Car Wash Detail and Lube. Uh, we also would like to let you know that we have an unlimited wash club that uh, for as little as $20 a month, you can wash your car as often as you'd like anytime. Uh, so if you'd like any more information on that or anything else I've talked about today, you can visit our website, you can call us, or you can stop on by here in Osage Beach. Lake TV returns to finish off this rendition of Lake TV's Game of the Week. We're in Eldon, Missouri, where the defending Tri-County Conference champion, California Pintos, are in demand and looking to move to 3-0. The Mustangs looking to drop to 1-2 on the season, and this capacity crowd is thinning out. Here's the screen now to Creekhauser, who's got something here, and he, hold on, no, he fumbles. They're going to call him down. So he's got a first down. It's a great play call by the Mustang offense coming out of that timeout. They really needed to pick that first down up. First down, Mustang! They did a great job calling that screen play. The quarterback, Greenwald, drew in the, drew in the defensive line and just kind of popped it right over their heads to his running back. Gave a nice touch pass and it results in a first down. We've got 258. Here's Greenwald out of the shotgun. He'll roll to his right where he throws down. Got his man and unable to hold on his quack. So second down and 10 upcoming and Greenwald not really getting the breaks he so needed to keep this one close tonight. Yeah, they've been rolling him out to the right hand side a lot this uh, second half, trying to let him use his arm a little bit to get the Mustangs back in this game. So this crowd now we talked about, it was very large, anticipating a good conference matchup. They are thinning and getting out of here. We can see the parking lot from the booth and they continue to get out of here. So the Mustangs not able to keep him here to the conclusion of the game, but they'll keep fighting. Here's Greenwald now. He'll pitch it out. He's got his guy Quack now and he'll get a couple yards on the option. So third down upcoming. Our sponsor, Eris, is, Eris puts a new spin on an old Italian favorite, pizza. Taste how the Greeks make pizza at Eris's Pizza and Pub. They're in the Prewitt Plaza Shopping Center in Osage Beach. So the Mustangs facing a third down and 10. They're at the 23 yard line of California. This is their second visit inside the California 25. Tonight, here's the handoff and going the wrong way and ball carrier quick will get a couple before being taken down there. So fourth down and eight now. It's like the Mustangs are gonna have to go back to the air here to get this first down. And they're going to try a field goal, at least try to nullify this shutout and see if they can't put an end to that goose egg you see on the scoreboard. And this is number 22, Levi Shin, and to attempt the 36-yarder. And it's no good wide left, so good attempt by the young man, Shin, getting a rare opportunity from 33 yards out. And we're going to keep the broadcast right here as the clock is running. We're inside a minute. Today's broadcast brought to you by Home Comfort Furnishings. Choosing new furniture is as easy as one, two, three. At Home Comfort Furnishings, next to the Ozark Opry and Osage Beach Parkway, the lake's only authorized Ashley furniture dealer, Home Comfort Furnishings, one, two, three. So we'll take a short break here. California, call a timeout get some second unit guys in the uh, game inside of a minute to go here. And it was all California from the start. They're up by demanding 38 to zero score. Looking to add to that right there. Making my way through the crowd on my way to the field. We'll have Coach Albertson for the Pentos. See what he has and how he feels broadcast. Here at beautiful Victor Field in Eldon, Missouri, where Eldon will fall to 1 2 on the season. California moves 3 0 to a nice start following last year. All right, year's. well, the Pintos take over here on their own 20 yard line. First and 10, we've got 49, sec 49 seconds left in the game. Inside, handoff. 
the Mustangs defense tackles them for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. It's been a great evening for football here in Eldon, Missouri. Here at Hel Eldon High School, home of the Mustangs. Here we go now, second and 15 after the five yard loss. Pinto quarterback under center, inside handoff. He keeps his legs moving for a gain of seven. Will be our last and play. that'll do it here, folks. Scrimmage, we are gonna have California's head coach and That's gonna bring an end to our broadcast. We've got the California Pintos 38, the Eldon Mustang zero. Difficult evening here for the Mustangs. They're gonna to look to get that turned around during the week. The California off to another great start, three and zero here to start the season. And we'll see them again later in the year here on Lake TV. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors tonight. We've got Smart Postal Center, Quick Car Car Wash, Save a Lot, your neighborhood grocery store, Laser Force Laser Tag, Chris Wagner at Farmers Insurance, Precision Auto, Replay for multi console video gaming. There's a new gamer in town at a new address. Replay. JJ Twigs in their new location inside Deerberg's. Eris's Pizza, putting a new spin on an old Italian favorite. Pizza. Home Comfort Furnishings, one, two, three. Choosing new furniture is as easy as one, two, three. We'd like to thank you guys all for watching our broadcast here on Lake TV. Please stay tuned for our next week's action. Lake TV, I'm William Holtz, and I'm here with head coach Albertson of the California Pentos. First coach, congratulations on the big win tonight. Thank you very much. It was, it was a nice win. You know, Eldon coming in, they put up some big points back-to-back -back weeks against Career Academy, then Buffalo last week. What was the key in your defense being able to pitch a shutout against a high-powered offense like Eldon? Well, I tell you what, I, I think it's effort. Our kids, uh, you know, we... We had a couple of really hard practices this week. We didn't have a JV game, so we got four good days of practice this week, and uh, two of those days were, were on defense, and we tackled and we uh, worked on fundamentals, and uh, we felt like against Mexico we didn't tackle real well and gave up too many yards, and our kids uh, came out and responded well tonight. They, they did a good job. All right, now we saw number five. I assume he's your son come out early in the game and not get back in a whole lot. Did he hurt himself tonight? Yeah, he sprained his ankle on that long pass down there. Right. He just turned his ankle. Hopefully that's all it is. Uh, we'll get it x-rayed to make sure, but hopefully it's just a sprained ankle. And then after we got the lead, there wasn't any sense of trying to put him back in. Right. Now this year we'll have, uh, you guys are going to be at Osage. We'll cover that game. You guys coming off a big state quarterfinal against Maryville last year. They went on to win the state title. How high are expectations in California for this Pinto team? Well, I tell you what, uh, we try not to think only one game at a time, and that's what we got to do. Uh, because if you start thinking down the road, you'll end up getting beat. And we, uh, you know, we're going to take it one game at a time. Right now, we, we're thinking Hallsville, and that's our next game. And so we're not worrying about anybody else other than them. All right, head coach Albertson, the California Pintos, they pitched the 38-0 shutout here tonight in Eldon at Victor Field. Coach, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the big win. Is Lake TV's William Holtz. Back to you guys. High school football season is just about here, and Lake TV will be there for every exciting play. We're delay broadcasting every game on TV, on YouTube, and on our website. We've put together three exciting sponsorship packages that will fit perfectly with your business and your budget. Your business will be showcased in every game all season. It's great exposure for your business and a great opportunity to show support for your favorite team. To learn more about sponsoring high school football on Lake TV, call us at 573-552-8832. Be a part of televised local high school football. Call today.